and then there was four. Good morning, everyone. What are we going on today? Well, we, in one way or the other, are going to try and make a little bit of money. I'll go show you. So, make a bit of money, you say. Well, trying to, anyway. A couple of you know, if you watched the video a couple of weeks ago, a week ago, we've got lots of beef left over, and we're gonna sell our beef to our dealer. I was, we had a chat with him the other day. He came down, he had a look, and he said, okay, get out what you want to get rid of, and then we'll have a look at it between ourselves. We've kind of come up to a price and a cost of how much X and Y will cost, and then the plan is to chat about it, get rid of probably a wagon load, anywhere from 14 to 15, and he'd take them away, give us a check for it, Jobs are good and saves us going to market, saves us kind of messing about. Time is a very valuable thing. But my first job is to scrape this up because it's not been done probably for about a month and it needs doing. Um, but because they've been doing the fence, the cows have been coming in every single day. I feel a little bit weak at the moment. I've uh, just been trying to slow down my food intake. I feel like I'm putting a bit of timber on. I'll work it off. You gotta be hungry till there's a little bit of weight. Probably not facts, but it helps. To get them in, Dad's been just feeding them here, so we'll probably do that on Thursday or something. But it's dry today, so this muck is will move quite nicely compared to tomorrow where it's going to rain. It definitely needs doing. We are cleaned up ish it's, it's better all i've got is a bucket okay washed out as well where the hydraulic pipes come out because we had a leak so the mechanics fix that don't drop my head top tomorrow wednesday we're going to pull the beef stock out and then have a look at what we want to get rid of and then we'll have our man have come and have a look at them and then he'll go, okay, we, I want this, I want that. So whilst we're doing all this and my head on me and the way my head works, what I'd really love to have done is sold all the beef straight to consumer because straight to consumer is a lot better, you know. People don't take it up a margin, it kind of stays in the farm. Yes, there are more hoops to go through being a farm shop or selling it direct, but it's worth more, you know. That more effort is worth more, you'd hope so anyway. I've talked about this before, I think, like years ago, but probably 18 months two years ago i'd love to do maybe beef boxes and just kind of make life easy for myself i could kind of go okay put two beasts in i have 20 beef boxes if anyone wants them this is the link below and then sell them like that i think people would be interested let me know if you would be interested because that'd be quite cool maybe in the future of not doing this we could actually sell it direct to anyone in the uk because there are 24 hour deliveries now it's an idea something i'd want to do instead of selling our beef as a whole to the market get it done properly from the farm what I'd love to do one day. Right, we'll catch you with you tomorrow, the day after, where we'll sort it out. Hey, it works. That's a surprise. We are back. Yeah, we're happy. Okay, it's getting a little bit tired. Today is the day our buyer is coming to have a look at them. And fortunately or not fortunately, whatever way it looks like, we've got two going in to the farm shop. So we'll see these. This one and this one. This one was just getting a little bit fat. I know they're not the biggest ones on the ass, but they're all grass fed, they're not pushed. And this one here, um, we've just tried to push it on grass and we just seem to be struggling a little bit. Yeah, we'll let it out of there. And it's really shallow on its back end. It could probably do with some, what they call it is. I think it's What it could probably do with some corn. And that's how people finish them off. They corn. They go on like a barley mix. Buys them off us, he finishes them. He's a proper finishing unit, so he knows the diet perfectly. He puts them on a good diet and a proper diet. Ours are just grass fed, but it tastes better for like farm shop. The quality should be better, we think. Instead of trying to push him on some corn or something, so that's how we do it for our place. So we're going to take that over the road. Then me and Luke are going to electric fence around the guys doing the fence. They're knocking it all down to redo it, which is great. But obviously, if you want to move sockets, it's a nightmare. I'll have to get two tags for these guys because when we're over there and if they come, at least I can put the tags on the desk 
and they're ready to go. So that's the plan. We just put them in here just in case they jump the collecting yard. You can see that it's broken in places where cows have done. So each cow has to have a passport. Each cow has to have two tags. That's what we've got there. Shut this up. Just in case he comes, he knows how to load them up. So when they go off farm like that, we always get them to pick them up. It's only, I think, 11 miles as a crow flies, um, but it takes probably like 45 minutes to get there with our tractor and a trailer. So it's easier for them just to pick it up, make our life easier. Mark in red. Well, Mark. Dave's in red. Yeah, cool. One of my friends is moving out of the house, they had a dog box. I was like, no, I'll take that. Electric lawnmower for our Airbnb. I know it's electric, but there's not a lot of garden, so that should do it. Strimmer and the, the book beds that are going in the Airbnb as well. Because you guys voted in that video a while ago, and we decided to go for book beds for one more person. Posts? I do prefer these bigger pigtail posts. They're a lot lighter, you can hold a lot more. So when we're ever doing anything, I do choose these. Dad's mad for the ones. Nice day again, Rich is good. Fence is up, lads can carry on working and we can let cows out. Good result. So this is what the team are doing, brand new fence going in, doing a great job. Right, now we're gonna do some sorting, like the sorting hat on Harry Potter. Gryffindor, Slytherin, Hufflepuff, Gryffindor. Can you believe I would scraped this up on Monday? Today is Thursday. <sighs> Just wanna get it done before. Dave gets here, so we're prepped for him. So anything over 3062. Anything, in, oh yeah, under 3062. Yeah, but anything over, we're putting out. We're putting outside, yeah. So just had a look, 3062 is gonna be two years old in December. So that means anything over that number is gonna be too young to go to the shop before Christmas. So that can go out and it can stay here. That's our plan of attack-ish. We're gonna sort this out and you guys are gonna stay in prime position Round about here. Pretty much done it. We've taken the ones that are going to be either two years old or older by the 1st of December. We like to sell ours at 24 months old. If they go over, we're not too bothered. 30 years, 30 months old is fine by me. 30 years old, that would be an old cow. But these are all small. There's five in here that are gonna be two years old or older by December, but they're quite good. And we've got enough out anyway. So we've decided, okay, I need them. I've got seven at home, but two are going today. So that means I've got 10 altogether, maybe a little bit more. And I think I need 18 before Christmas. So I need eight of the lot that we've taken out. All these are gonna be two years old by Christmas or even older. And some of them might be two years old. We'll pick out the ones that we need for the farm shop. So we've got five at home, five in the field, and we need eight more. And then after that, it's kind of surplus beef. And that can go to the market because we won't need it for the farm shop yet. We might look at that other idea that I was explaining about by selling meat direct. Let me know if you would like it, put in the comment section, it could help us make a decision. Sort this out. Luke's just gone off because I pick our cows up for the shop and just arrived. What I need to do now is just sort them out. My man's just here who takes the cows, uh, but he doesn't want to be a camera, so we're just going to sort these out and I'll show you what we've picked out and not picked out. So we figured it out. We have 10 added on. We took a couple more out just in case we want to make sure we definitely have enough. And if Christmas gets busier, we've got our own beef and we have 20 Angus's ready to go 12 heifers and eight bulls gonna go into do our direct salesman so it's pretty good oh it is electric So 
So there is our man gone off. He's picked up 15, 16, and there's four left here to come, but he comes in a trailer as well, so it does come um, from the trailer. He's not far from us, about, about half an hour, 40 minutes, but obviously a round trip, it's really gonna be two hours by the time he's tipped, so I need to get all the passports out for him as well. And then there was four. There's four left to go. Bloody hope they don't jump the fence. I don't think they will. Which is good. I watched everything in my queue, so put me on a train, I don't care where it's going, fly me on a plane, maybe I go wild. So that is my man going, and that is how we get rid of our beef if it's not through the farm shop. So we've got rid of 20 today, we've got enough till December, and we'll start again in January, February, where we should have enough again. If we have any surplus, we'll ring our man again, or I would love to sell it direct to consumer. It's, it's something that I'd want to do. Is it viable? Can we do it? It's gonna be worth it. It's a lot of manpower doing orders and making sure it gets delivered right. 24 hour deliveries, something that we haven't really done before. There's a good company called Wool Cool who's used wool as the insulator for the meat. So I once got a sample off them about 18 months ago because I was looking at it during COVID times and then the shop was like just so busy that the staff were busy enough and I couldn't put more pressure on them. So I kind of put it on ice. <laughs> Funny enough, insulation ice. Got rid of some of our best, some of our mediums, but kept a lot of our best and a lot of our mediums. So he didn't take all of our biggest because we need some of our biggest, but at the same time, I didn't want all the big ones because I need the medium sized ones that are gonna finish in the next three or four months, if that makes sense. So guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you want TP merch, it's at tompem-farmlife.co.uk. You can pick up there. Right, let's go back home where it's gonna be nearly milking time. See you in a bit. Bye.